Hey love, so it's time to do a tutorial. This one here is hair from New Star Hair. And this is their platinum bundles. They did send me four in 222s, a 20, an 18, and a 14 inch closure. As you guys see right here, this is the packaging that it comes in. Along with that, I'll leave all of the information below. This is actually the second time around for me to record a video with them or actually collaborate with them. So as you guys see here, each item does come in a plastic bag this is the body wave hair and it is a color 613 which is the platinum blonde also I want to mention that the bundles are a little bit more yellowish than the closures so I will be working on the bundles to get that yellow tone out now I do have my Revlon's colored silk box dye I do have some clips also a mascara wand a bowl and some brushes just for my dye you don't really need a lot of expensive products but you do want to make sure that you are protecting your surfaces when you are dyeing or processing any hair texture. So I do have one box of the dark brown by Color Silks Revlon and this is going to be for my roots. And then I also have three boxes here which is the dark blonde and I did purchase these at Walmart's which was like three dollars and some change per box they are permanent dyes but you will notice over time that it will kind of fade away especially if you're washing it with warm water so I would suggest washing with cold so I went ahead and unraveled my hair and I'm going to get some clips just to hold them together normally what I do is I'll save the elastic that comes with each bundle you know the elastic that's wrapped around per bundle but for this I didn't so I'm just going to clip the hair together now this is only one bundle I did fold it in half this makes the process a lot easier and I'm also going to take some bigger clips which I'll show in a minute but first things first I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix up the um hair dye it's really simple it does come with an activator developer some gloves and a conditioner normally I really don't use the conditioner so I'm going to take out two bottles first because I don't want to use a third bottle because it does oxidize kind of within an hour so you don't want to use it all and you know you're not using it up quickly so you want to take the color which is the dark blonde and put it in the developer bottle and just shake it up real well and I like to clip down the hair so as you guys see right here I'm kind of like clipping the hair onto the plastic I do have the plastic taped to my counter so that way it doesn't move around and that way I also don't ruin the counter space but it's still really easy to get off all you need is either some bleach or some Clorox powder to get it off so as you guys see here I'm taking a couple of strands and I'm brushing that dark blonde on within a few minutes it will turn a darker color and I'm flipping some hair of the hair up the hair that I'm flipping up is actually the hair that I don't want to um, highlight so it's kind of like every other strand but not really every other strand it's kind of like every other few chunks or you know whatever that's the reason why I keep it doubled up so let me tell you guys first things first um, I do have a video tutorial on how I did this prior this was last year when I made a blonde wig the blonde wig that you guys see me always wearing but I I did do this step a little bit backwards so what you see me doing here first is highlighting the hair and like I said I do keep the bundles folded in half because it'll come out a lot better if you do it like that and it's also a lot easier you just want to make sure that you're saturating the pieces that you want to highlight or darken you want to saturate it well not stripping well but saturate it so what I did backwards was this if you want to have dark roots on your bundles and your closure you want to darken that first so the first thing that I should have done was darken the roots of the bundle like meaning at the top along with that darken the roots of my closure with the dark brown hair dye and then I would have let that sit on for the day and let it dry and then I would have came back and highlighted it but I'm gonna do this process a little bit totally different so now what you see me doing here is I'm going to put the closure on this is just a styrofoam mannequin head and I did put a plastic bag over it so that way no hair dye does get onto my mannequin so now I'm going to be using these cotton um, things here. I don't know the name of them, but you can get them at any beauty supply store. And I'm also going to be using a, maras a mascara wand, which is clean. It's old. I, make, I just use it for hair dyeing. So I'm going to do the same kind of method with the closure. I'm going to take the clip. But like I was saying to you guys, you really want to darken the roots first prior to highlighting. But, you know, I was not really in a rush. I just wasn't really paying attention to what I was doing. I think when you darken the roots first, 
it's just best so right now what I'm doing is I'm highlighting it I'm using that same dark blonde that you did see me use on the bundle hair and I'm just taking like every other piece I'm not like doing it all at one time but just keep in mind you don't want to do a lot of highlights in the closure because for one they can bleed together two it's a closure it's not a lot of hair so you really don't need a lot of highlights as you would need in the bundles because like I said it's a closure and it's not a lot of hair so you don't want to put a lot you can know you know you can skip a few and then put some highlights in here and there but don't do a lot because if you do a lot of highlights in the closure it kind of looks really funky and it kind of like washes the main color out which is the natural color so you want to be really really careful when you're doing that but also what you can do is you can also use the mascara wand I like to use the mascara wand because for one it doesn't um, allow me to get the, the dye all over the place you know I'm able to do it in small sections especially when I'm I'm darkening the roots of my closure the mascara wand is amazing for that because it also allows me to get precise and right onto the closure and also it doesn't allow me to get on any of the lace along with any of the other hair now once in a blue moon you will see a couple of darkness dots on the lace but nothing major as you would see if you use an actual like brush so I would say if you're doing dark roots on anything like a lace wig a frontal I would definitely say use like the smallest brush you can find and that's the reason why I use the mascara wand so as you guys see here I'm just using the cotton to separate the hair because once I'm done with one section with the darkening the highlight I don't want to let the new fresh clean hair lay on top of it so the cotton does help with kind of like keeping it separated from one another so that way the dye doesn't get on any of the blonde hair that I don't want it on and like I said these are available at the beauty supply store I got this I think from Sally's and I'm gonna tell you something I'm really cheap so I do reuse the cotton sometimes you may find a few dots of dye on the cotton but it's still reusable it's not wet it's dry so I just keep it and I reuse it so I've had the same box probably for like a couple years because I'm super cheap okay now um, as you guys see I'm just taking the mascara wand and I'm just doing the same thing as I did on the bundles except for with a way smaller brush and I also use clips so that way I can keep the hair out of the way so for this portion I would suggest making sure that you have some type of pins to stick the closure down onto a styrofoam phone head and just you know clips and combs and cotton just to make sure that your job is so much easier and I mean it's very time consuming it may take longer than you think but I'd rather take my time versus in a rush because I really don't want it to come out looking messed up and I don't want anything or any mistakes So we're almost done with the closure and this is just the step where it's highlighting and putting that dark blonde in. As I was saying, it is a little bit backwards. Normally what I would have done is darken the roots of the closure and I would have let the dark brown sit on for longer. So now it's time to darken the roots of the actual bundle. So this is actually the first step that you would have really wanted to take. But being that I'm doing it backwards, we're just gonna do it like this. This is the dark brown. And as you guys see, this color, um, the blonde, the dark blonde, is still on the hair. It doesn't bother the hair to keep it on for like an hour and a half to two hours. I think it was on for two hours. It does wash out really well, but you don't want it to be sitting there for hours and hours. So as you guys see, I'm just painting the very top of the actual bundles of hair really quickly. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I do like my bundles to have dark roots. So that way when I'm sewing, you'll see that it has dark roots. If it's moving in the wind, it'll look like it's an actual really good weave or wig or what have you. And I'm just going to flip it over. Now keep in mind, the bundles are still folded in half so I'm going to just flip it over as you guys seen and just actually paint the opposite side of the roots now like I said this is a little bit backwards and I'm just gonna repeat that because I really feel like make sure that you darken the roots first and then you can go ahead and then wash it out and allow it to dry and then go back the next day and highlight the color so as you guys see right here this is once again the closure 
and now I am darkening the roots of the closure and this is where the mascara wand comes into play and it comes into play perfectly because it just gets at the right moment it gets at the right spot it gets precise you don't get sloppy with it it's not getting all over the place it makes your job much more easier versus overwhelming and as you guys see here this is the job of the mascara wand you don't need a lot of hair dye on the wand because trust me it will get through you want to make sure that it penetrates the hair and it saturates but you don't want it to oversaturate because if you do then that is where your hair dye is going to actually seep onto your closure or your front tube or your 360 and then you're going to make all types of mistakes so yes you guys definitely definitely darken the roots first let it sit rinse it out and then go back the next day because sometimes what can happen if you do both as i'm doing here together what can happen is the darker color can bleed onto your actual highlighted color and you can ruin it luckily for me fortunately for me it did not do that but it also allows you to free up hand space because if you darken the roots you're going to need to hold the hair and you don't want to hold hair that has already been highlighted and is wet so that is also the reason why I say to darken the roots first and allow it to you know dry overnight and then you go back the next day and then you can highlight that's just about it you guys so let's get into this video I hope you guys like this long tutorial of me explaining how I did this All right, love, so I am finally done creating this wig from New Star Hair. Let me tell y'all, it was a work in progress. Um, now, as you guys seen, I did show you guys the four bundles that were sent to me. Those platinum blonde bundles, those 613s were more or less on a yellowish shy, and the closure was more platinum like more pale blonde so they were a little bit different in color and I was kind of skeptical and I was really afraid of once I did my work onto it the closure wouldn't blend properly with the actual bundles so as I was on Instagram I did see my girl Passion Joes you know how much I love her she was actually toning her bundles of platinum blonde hair too because they were yellowish as well so i did notice that she used the mark daniels professional lush luminous blonde and i went ahead and googled it and purchased it off of amazon i did purchase this as a set for i think it was like 23 dollars this made life so much easier because i was really going to use like weller toner and developer which takes a lot more time but these steps this is the shampoo and this is the conditioner made life so much easier it did actually tone the yellow bundles to match the closure to a T so I was really happy about that and I also purchased the leave-in toner by Mark Daniels which just keeps the hair nourished and also keeps the hair toned and I'll leave the link below for you guys of where you can get this at from Amazon but it does make a huge difference I did use it on like a lot of my other wigs and let me tell y'all it's totally worth it with the final outcome this is what the unit looks like and you guys did see that I use, did use box dye so I did kind of do my steps reverse this time or kind of like backwards meaning I did what I would suggest highly suggest first because I did it a little bit backwards um the first time I ever did this step was totally different first thing you want to do is you want to darken the roots if you want to darken the roots of your bundles and your closure don't highlight it and then at the same moment darken the roots because sometimes they'll bleed together i like the bundles to have dark roots also because you know when you're moving the hair around you can see inside that the hair is also dark so i mean even though you may not do that that's just one thing that i extra step that i like to take and also because around the perimeter it's dark as well so it came out really well it was two 22 inches a 20 and 18 and i think the closure was a 14 inch closure the initial time that i tried it on I actually thought it was like really long, very, very long. It's 22 inches, so I had to go in and cut it because I did not want it that long. When I say it was long, it was like all the way down to here, and it was very full and voluminous, and I just felt like it looked very wiggy, so I wanted to tone it down a little bit. But also, I did a little extra step, a little trick. I took a Sharpie marker. It wasn't this one, but it was a finer point one, but this is the one that I have on hand, and I just went closer to the roots 
like little strands, not every last one, but one, maybe one here and one there to make it look like it was actually hair growing out because it was a little bit more blonder. You really can't tell because it's dark. So, but I didn't do it to the entire thing, but just to little, little strips of it. So I do like it because it's not all platinum blonde. It has some highlight in it with some dimension. I just didn't want it to be so, um, pale on me so i wanted some color in it so let's get into this video okay also i forgot to mention it does have four combs inside two in the back and two in the front that's it i know that it's late but baby i'm up and i'm thinking about you about you you on the line and see if it's okay if I could come through, could come through. Feeling kind of lonely, I think I'm needing a dose of my blood, of my blood. Just left the studio, I can be there in 10 minutes. Is that cool? Is that cool? Been craving your love and your body on mine. You, but I need your time. Okay, you guys, so there you have it. This is her. I don't know what I'm about to name her, but I feel like she is so pretty. She came out really nice. I'm digging the highlights in them. Hope you guys can see them in the hair. It's like that darkish blonde. Pretty sure, sure you guys can see the highlights in the hair. It just gives the hair like this dimension and it just gives the hair more like, I, you know what, when I do like really light colors like blonde, I don't like the hair to just be one solid flat color because it just really doesn't do anything for me. So I definitely feel in this unit. I never thought that I would be wearing bl platinum blonde, um, but I do like it. I don't know if I could wear platinum blonde blonde just without any other color in it. But definitely dark blonde with the platinum blonde, hunties. As far as it's shedding, so I did, like I was saying, I did have to cut some of the hair off. Um, when I first, it looks like I need to cut more or am I just bugging out? Is it even? Okay, it's even. Um, when I first did the video, let me tell you, this is the second time I did this portion because last night I did it at one o'clock in the damn morning, or maybe it was like 12, it was like 12 something in the morning. And I had to like fix the closure, the curl it a different way because the way I had it curled, then it just was so full and long that I felt like it looked very wiggish. And then when I did my second video, which was a different wig, a blonde wig that I made, like more honey blonde, it was 20 inches and it was the same amount of bundles and closure, but it just wasn't wiggy looking. So I decided to cut this and also had to kind of like put some heat protectant spray on it. Okay, because it was dry to me, I had to use this, which is the Mega Silk Silk by Silk Elements. This has olive oil and silk protein in it. So this is a heat protectant spray, and it does make your hair a little bit oily, but that's what I used in this other wig that I did, um, which I had brought from Hell to Back, and it gave it like this smooth, more relaxed look. And so once I cut it today, first thing I did when I woke up was, well, I took a shower, of course, but I went ahead and I trimmed the wig. Um, I cut it. I layered it. So that way it could be like 20 inches. I know like it was 22 and it may not be a lot to some people, but it was very long on me. It was a little bit longer than this and it was just very full and very wiggish looking. And I noticed that when I turned around, it just looked very, very wiggish looking. 
And so I didn't want it to look like that. So I trimmed it and then I sprayed this on it, which gave it some life and also toned it down. Like it wasn't dry looking. So it did shed. A lot of hair did shed because it was kind of dry and brittle. So once I put the silk elements in it, it just toned it and it made it look a lot better. So that is the reason why I did this video over twice. Um, because I just wasn't too pleased. I was, I liked it, but I knew that it could look better. So yes, that is the reason for this. And if you want to wear a platinum blonde wig, make it look like it's a, a daggone, a damn good weave. You know what I mean? Like a good ass platinum blonde weave something like that. I don't know. New Star Hair. This is the second time that I worked with them and they do have some good quality hair. I think the very first hair that I did with them was like some, um, I think it was just like regular, like regular color hair. Um, let me look and see because I really want to know. Okay, so you know what? Actually, New Star Hair is, they do have some bomb ass hair, okay? Because I made a wig a black china red wig with their deep um their deep wave hair like i made it fire red so they do have some really good hair so definitely check them out because they do have the bombest hair ever like seriously they do got some good ass hair okay um and yes you guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys have like an amazing new year happy new year stay diva and delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up i love you guys and i'll see you on the other side Bye.